Transfer 56 branches more so the Gambia. Ja. Huh? Ha? Gambia Kono and in Gambia Bantala Bangol. Nka Kono Kia Beret. Kodo Sifa Sifa for Falindiro for Nadi Lata Memena Kodi to Koton in Kodi Maro. Janum number one in Yonda. And Nun for another another enterprise is Sotali. Wolam Nintuko, Domoro Fanam Kol Fanam De Firali, the Daddy Man in Domoro in Fanny Petiat. Gambia Dauda Yalom of Fakindol Sotali. Ha, Womoya, ha, a parent of Yalom of Yalom Kendol, Evina Yalom Bukanil of Wall, Abarka Yalom del Chosano. Abarka. investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms or our story building three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Seaview Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you.
welcome to the brunch on Kerfatu Live. I'm Lamin Cham, welcoming you to our current affairs program that comes your way every Saturday afternoon here on Kerfatu Live. This week we continue, of course, with our look at uh, the issues that make news over the last seven days. We will start, of course, with uh, updates from the political representatives we have in the studio before we move on to those topics. And I have a specialist in the studio, uh, who analyst that is uh, Nyang Jai, who will be helping me analyze uh, the perspectives from these two political party representatives. So I begin by introducing Sheikh Mbalo. He's from the National People's Party. He's also an advisor to President Barrow. Mr. Mbalo, welcome to the branch once again. Thank you for coming again. Um, um, thank you very much, Mr. Cham, for inviting me um, to this program. Good. Uh, Nene Freda Gomez is the spokesperson of PRO for Citizen Alliance. Nene, welcome. Thank you very much, Lamin. And can I correct you? I'm the spokeswoman for Citizen Alliance. Ah, I said <coughs> but I said spokesperson. That can be anybody. You want me to be spokesperson? Exactly. Okay, I spokeswoman. Want to hold the title. I always tell you, I'm the only woman holding that position. Oh, so you want requires. that to be clear all the time. Exactly. Nene Frida Gomez, spokeswoman Bingo. of Citizen Alliance. Thank you. <laughs> I have already introduced Nyang Jai, of course. Uh, uh, Nyang, welcome. Thanks a lot and good afternoon, viewers. Good. Let's start with, uh, because, of course, on whose shoulders is the whole load and burden of the country? That is, of course, President Barrow and his National People's Party. Now, the president has been in the news this week. He delivered the State of the Nation address, and he will be moving out to uh, the provinces, that is, uh, on the people's, meet the people's store on Monday, starting, if I'm right, and that will go down all the way to another 14 days or so. So the president will be very busy in the provinces. But, of course, it goes with political activities, and the one party will be busy uh, promoting and, of course, mobilizing people to these meetings is the National People's Party, NPP, who is represented on this panel by Sheikh Mbalo. Mr. Mbalo, welcome. Let, let's start by asking you, uh, let us have an update on the activities of the party over the last... You had the youth rally. We mm -hmm. haven't got an opportunity to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You also had one in the URR, Jimara, uh, Jimara Bakadaiji. Uh, now, in the run-up to uh, the Bakaraji meeting, the opposition were there. They said, uh, you know, they have conquered all that place. Your people also came from Jimara, said you conquered all Jimara, but the GDC said that is not the case. But let's go back to the youth rally and under the Bakaraji rally. What's your impression of the youth rally? Um, Mr. Cham, um, really it's a pleasure to come here and then have a discussion mm -hmm. on the burning issues of this country <laughs> yes. um, as usual mm -hmm. um, the MP, uh, the Secretary General and uh, party leader mm -hmm. of MPP um, President Adam Obaro mm -hmm. um, has been involved in activities throughout the country mm -hmm. this is due to the fact that he is a developmental oriented mm -hmm. leader mm -hmm. Look at the projects that he has implemented mm -hmm. from Koina to Kato now. Mm. President Adam Barrow, within this short time, within these four years, mm -hmm. he has managed to modernize some of the parts that were ab completely abandoned in this country. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you where. Ah, okay. Places like um, Wuli and Sandu. Wuli, yes. Wuli, Wuli, used and, to. Wuli and Sandu today, yeah. they are just, they are as happy as the people living in Basse. Okay. In the I, capital city. How I, used to, how I used to know Willie was, you have to come to Basse, cross cross the river. Get the canoe. Drive. drive get the canoe. Drive get on, the ferry. Yeah. Wait for two hours, three hours to get a ferry to yeah. cross. Yeah. Even where as you have a coming from Baja Kunda or somewhere, yeah. you have to wait for the patient. Mm. Even if she is pregnant and about to deliver, yeah. the patient has to be seated. Uh, uh, they have to be seated. Yeah. And wait for three, four, five hours and before start, crossing to Basi. And then they have, uh, and they have very bad roads, of course, that link them to that river. It's no longer the case. So what has been the case? Now? It's no longer mm -hmm. the case. Mm -hmm. Roads have been built. 
between where to the um, where now from Yerobawa, from Basse, Yerobawa. you go to Yerobawa, mm -hmm. up to Bajakunda. Mm -hmm. You go. What happened to the river crossing now? It's bridged. It's bridged. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just from there. I went to Bajakunda for a rally. Mm -hmm. They invited me there for, for a meeting. So to you, now from Basse, you just drive? You just drive. You see, anywhere. even, even young, people like Nyangja, I mean, they are qualified drivers. They, they, don't, they don't need to hold the steering wheel. Okay. You, will just, you can just, you just drive leave, smoothly. Go. What as, about, as you what are about, driving in, 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 in What in about the, the other end? The, the, by uh, no, there, there's, there's some other bridge, isn't it? Uh, there is one, an other one in Fatoto mm -hmm. now. Okay. He has built a wonderful bridge in Fatoto right now. Mm -hmm. That one also is almost at the verge of completion. Mm -hmm. The Fatoto bridge. Mm -hmm. We are going to open. We they are going to be um, uh, inaugurated mm -hmm. in up on October, I think nine, if mm -hmm. I have not forgotten, around October nine. Mm -hmm. We he's going back to. To, 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 to inaugurate these bridges. And the and road that the, link from Patoto to that bridge? They are all, they, they all they almost, they are all completed. Mm -hmm. So upper river, river region now, they are as happy as people who are living in Banjul because of President Araba Baro. This region, this area, these districts were completely abandoned. Neglected. Even or, teachers or who were posted in those areas would resign. They would tell their prince, this thing, uh, the directory, mm -hmm. that if you take me there, I will resign. Nurses were resigning mm -hmm. to go to those health centers. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go there today, go to Bajakunda Health Center, mm -hmm. you'll be happy. You think that you are in, uh, you, you, you are in Serekunda Health Center. Mm -hmm. It's because of President Adam Obaro. Yeah, but you know, these are government <coughs> policies. Okay, Adam Obaro being head of state, we know, of course. This, this came as a grant from the, Chi the government of the People's Republic of China. I think fifty million dollars was it? If you can remember. Something, okay. So, Thank you very the much. The government, at, at the government, the coalition government, Thank you. Okay. decided that okay, this area perhaps has long been neglected by successive regimes, Jawara and Jamme, and of course it's only natural that President Barrow comes from this area. So it's only natural that if he pleads and and pleads with the cabinet that I'll take this one to my area, everybody will agree with him. So, Mr. Mr. Cham, yeah, I mean. It is a fact that these yeah. are government-owned funding yeah. and government-owned um, what, whatever we can call it. It belongs mm -hmm. to the government yeah. and the people of the Gambia. Yeah. But what I'm, t I mean, what I'm trying to um, drive at here, mm -hmm. do you want to tell me that for 50 years mm -hmm. there was no funds with all the funds that came into this country? Mm -hmm. Remember the time of PPP. Mm -hmm. Remember the GPMB, mm -hmm. remember the cooperative union, mm -hmm. remember all the projects that were existing in this country, mm -hmm. the funds, European Union, that they fund. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, you name it, mm -hmm. I have a catalog of grants that came into this country. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell me that mm -hmm. the people of those areas mm -hmm. Could we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are not as important as other areas in, 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 in Banjul, mm -hmm. Serekunda, or Bakau? Mm -hmm. they, they, I, I, I and they are taxpayers. I'm coming, I'm, I agree. And they are taxpayers. I agree. I equally, agree. like anybody. I agree. Do you want to tell me the people of Hakalan, mm -hmm. the Hakalan Road, mm -hmm. whereby people to go to work, oh, those, area, uh, those areas, mm -hmm. we, are, we are a serious problem. Mm -hmm. People were using donkey carts. To, to, to transport patients mm -hmm. because of, you you cannot take anybody there. Mm -hmm. Drivers will tell you that I cannot go and break my car, mm -hmm. my gele gele over there. Mm -hmm. I can't go there. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know government is a process, a continuous process. Yes. So we don't have to quarrel with Jamme or. Uh, no, I am not blaming. No, yeah. I'm not quarrel. I'm, I'm, I'm not blaming I'm Jamme. Speaking. I'm not blaming I'm Jawara. Not what I'm telling you is the achievement has to be acknowledged. That's what I'm President saying. President Adamabaro achievement. Okay. This is his the achievement. Things that were achieved on that. I will. I will definitely acknowledge what President Adamabaro has done. Hey, that's what I I'm will saying. definitely acknowledge what Sadao the Jawara has done. Exactly. He has given us peace and yeah. tranquility in yeah. this country and some development even the and road. also some development of he course. was the one during his time he established even the, the road. Gambian even the, the road, road even, the, even the road and even Bandu some road to Basel. some colleges yeah. he was the one I would acknowledge that so oh. give whoever did something should me acknowledge I see no reason wow. why people should disqualify those people oh. however mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. I, I see no reason why people should this, this, this disqualified uh, president Adam Abaro oh, achievement or, or not great him, achievement not give him, him I mean, the, it the, should be credited with, with what, with what he has done. Okay, with, but to it, be fair enough. Yes, I. Uh, I mean, he also talk about. Um, sorry, let me drag into the sauna. That is the state of opening. He also talk about classrooms 
have been built and oh, no, I mean other roads extended uh, apart from the upper river do you know of any other roads that have been constructed um yes where um president arvabaro has consult he has uh, constructed other roads like where um apart from the upper river region yes and also crr because and, the and, and not the region. Region. that's set to be jammes project Jimbala. no not jimara jimbala Kaur. the, the, the where Jimbala. there's a place called there is a place called jimara there how many kilometers um, but it's part of his project. 1970 something like. But the Lamin Koto Passamas. Now I'm coming. I'm coming to. Lamin I know. Koto I know. Pas he want to water that. Lamin Koto Passamas Road. It was supposed. To, I mean, I had APRs who carried in Jammeh for that. What? The Lamin Koto Passamas Road. Well, Chan. What? What? What we are saying. Even if you if you follow that. Yeah. Even the uh, uh, Trans Gambia mm -hmm. Bridge. Yes. You can. You can. You can hear those type of argument. Ah. Somebody started it. Yes. Jawara started it. Yes. He didn't do it. Yeah. Jammeh started it. Yes. Baro completed. Mm -hmm. What? What I'm telling you is. Yeah. You can. You. I mean, the in, in, initialization mm -hmm. can be started by somebody. Yeah. But what is important is who one who come and implement it. That is oh. most important thing. Yeah, we know Jawara. Mm -hmm. Sign mm -hmm. the Trans Gambia. Yeah. Everybody agree with that. He has been discussing with Abdul Juf. Mm -hmm. I can remember mm -hmm. for, for them to build that, but it never materialized, mm -hmm. unfortunately, yeah. for whatever reason. Jamme started it. Jamme also came, mm -hmm. then Jamme came, then Jamme signed it. And started in for actually and, start, and, 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 and started and but it, it put it came to a halt. Yeah, no, because they stopped it. it of course, it, of so course it, it comes it, yeah, well, it, it was stopped. So all these that. projects no, it, no, it no, was stopped. I'm coming. No, no, yeah. I don't, it's not about me. You know, I have to interject here. There is no, a misinformation by the gentleman. Uh. ADB I, 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 signed I, 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 a contract. Uh, hold on. No, no. no, no. Okay. no allow come me. to clarify. You come to analyze. No, no, no. Let him finish. You, Let him finish. You, Let him finish. Let him finish. Okay, you know why I'm bringing all these things? You said yes. certainly the president has been busy yes. I mean, implementing projects all over. All over the country. So many times when we are here in the urban areas, we hear of... Uh, Men are, are, you are, of are kilometers, not, not of kilometers of road. I want to know specifically where and where. And when he claimed also he built classrooms, where are these classrooms? Classrooms, number one, the college in Basse. Do we know that there is a college in Basse? Yes, I know that there is particular. Do we know there room? is there is uh, there are classroom, new classroom, mm -hmm. built classrooms in, in, in Koba Kunda. Mm -hmm. Do we know that Kerewan Sambasira, mm -hmm. before President Arababaro coming into power, mm -hmm. Kerewan Sambasira? The school donkeys were sleeping in the in, in, in the classrooms. Today, and where they today you go there. Yeah. I have it on 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 on. on it's become a first class. School. It's a first class classroom. Mm -hmm. They are extending to a story, story building. And even teachers' quarters have been put up. Teachers' quarters have been put up. Mm -hmm. Not only that place. Mm -hmm. Many 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 areas, Mister Mister Cham. Okay. All right. He has done that. So that is it. Um, let, let's talk about now the the neutral. I ask you first. Uh, you know because the this. We are going to election. Yes. The NPP is uh, bracing up, you know, using both this political, uh, I mean, this tour which is coming, and of course the nominations which have been, the campaign, the dates of which have been on, and all these are important. How much success do you think, as the president himself said, was the youth rally in Banjul? It was very successful. Mm. The youth rally was very successful. The youth of Banjul really demonstrated demonstrated. Where did the youth of Banjul, or actually the they were? Well, it's a combi This this is. This is the president. You cannot say when the president is traveling to a region, it's only that region should come out. Mm. To be frank, yes. there are other youths who came. Okay. But the, the main base mm -hmm. came from Banjul, the people of Banjul, mm -hmm. because they were the people who hosted the rally in their, in their, in their city. Mm. So we cannot take that from them. Yes. When something happened in URR, mm -hmm. the people of URR, because of their good effort, if it is successful, mm -hmm. we, 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 we can say it's the people of URR. They were the host mm -hmm. because if they had frustrated or sabotaged it, mm -hmm. it would have not been successful. Mm -hmm. So first, we will credit yeah. the people, the youth of Banjul, mm -hmm. then also generalize it, the Gambian youths okay. that they did a wonderful job mm -hmm. and they have demonstrated that they are ready to back President Adam Abaro. Yeah. They will support him in the 2021 election. elections. Okay, and then yes. you have you had Bagadaji. Bagadaji, um, the people of uh, also the meeting in Bagadaji, you, everybody has seen that. Mm. The people of Bagadaji came in, Jimara came in full force. Mm. They organized themselves, mm. and we all know that Jimara mm. was an opposition hall. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is, is, is it not one still now? No, it has. It, it, it has. 
we have flipped the coin. The sitting national assembly. They have the, 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 the national assembly member is opposition. The, so uh, most of the councillors are. He's waiting for election. Most oh. of those, most of those elected people. Uh -huh. that, I mean, that's democracy. Yeah. As far as he's elected mm. for a term of five years, mm. he would be there. Mm. But many people. It, election is like that. Many people are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. Let's see what is going to happen after 2022. You will your, see your, a lot of people in the National Assembly. They are not coming back. Your people claim that uh, they are not coming. G members of the GDC cross capital to them. Uh, the GDC is finished there. They lot, deny that. A lot of people, chairman cross capital. But they are saying this. They, 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 they still have this. The people of Sare Talata, people of Sare Talata, mm -hmm. they came. But Sare, Sare Aralba is still in the GDC. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you. Yes. What I'm telling you is the coin has been flipped in Gimara. Mm -hmm. And you are, you are going to see that in these elections. Mm, okay. The people have come, they have decided to now to support President Adam Abaro. Mm -hmm. Their son. Okay. Because they have seen that the president, uh, their son is really committed mm -hmm. in reconciling this country, mm -hmm. in uniting the people, mm -hmm. and at the same time bringing development projects. So why should they waste their, waste their time with opposition? Okay, opposition, let's... opposition. They are not going to do that. Well, Adam was in the opposition. He was not wasting his time. Before. When he was when, uh, being in opposition is not completely a waste of time. When, when he was in the opposition with the UDP, he, he was, was wasting, wasting his, he was time. his time because oh, UDP, really? UDP never did uh, even a toilet here. So he was. That's what they said. All of you were wasting their time. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we will come to that. But then let's let's deal with the elephant in the room. <laughs> The elephant in the room is that, uh, well, you, you mentioned all the achievements President Barrow has done yes. Yes. and the momentum that the NPP have got from both Banjul and, the, and Bajakunda. Yes. And I guess you think the NPP is very strong in other areas of the country. Very strong, very strong. Even, I mean, in Foni. Why okay. can't you mention our meeting in Foni? In Bondale. In Bondale. Yes. How was that? Foni, where it was, where it, 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 Foni was regarded as a strong opposition that belonging to the form but you haven't gone still to the heart of uh, uh, for you. you you were at the outskirts Bondal is the they, they were represented all the opinion leaders came mm. all the opinion leaders belonging to those small small hamlets yeah. they were all there they were all there to represent the people of Pony, mm -hmm. to show the people that now we are here to support this leader and we will do it in, in on the fourth of December, twenty twenty one, in Salah. That's what that, they promised. That now leads straight to straight to the elephant in the room. The much talk about alliance with the with the with the APRC because uh, the, you don't, you mentioned Fonya, and that is the believed to be the base and the heart of the APRC. Um, now there have been a lot of controversy, to say the least, about this alliance. I mean, the headlines that went around the walls, you know, suggested that. Uh, President Barrow now is uh, allying with uh, uh, President Jame and even talking about amnesty, etc. Et there was a lot of controversy around it. But many people believe that uh, this is not a smart move by the NPP or President Barrow by extension because you can get APRC supporters and avoid the brand APRC because perhaps that would be controversial since APRC, the brand, is not very popular. <coughs> What do you make of that? Um, Mr. Cham, mm. first of all, I have seen a false document being circulated in the social media mm -hmm. concerning the, the shared agreement. Yes, yes. That's not, that, that document is completely, uh, let me make it here, that document is completely false. Exactly. It's misleading. Mm -hmm. It's where, not. It's not the document that where, is. Where is the proper one? The, 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 the proper one, one is between the, is, is within, is, is in the hands of those who are concerned with it. And that is NPP and APR. NPP and APR. And those are the people who, who are concerned about If we are friends, our agreement is, it concerns us. Okay. If, we, if we choose to de depart, that's our, that's, that's our choices. That's not somebody's business. Yes. That's, that's right. not the business of somebody. It's a relationship. Mm -hmm. it's, this is a friendly relationship. Okay. It's not mandated by the constitution for this constitution, uh, this thing to be made public or to, for people to know. You can understand the APRC has some convincing to do because they have factions that don't believe that they are working in the interest of the party leaders. They call it supreme leader. So the APRC needs some convincing to do. All the more reason they should come out with the, with the, with the especially since there have been a, dis, I mean, a, fa a fake one 
All the more reason that the real one should come out. Well, I mean, I think that is, I mean, the benefit they should go after their party. If anybody who is a supporter mm -hmm. or a sympathizer of MPP has a doubt, yeah. I think the right thing to do is to come to the executive of I the see. party and we will brief the party. The same thing applies to APRC. APRC. Okay. So Rather a, than just going speculating or, or, or fabricating, or, or, or fabricating, thing, fabricating uh, uh, the, the, I think the world is too advanced. It's a, I mean, people don't take that. Whenever you fabricate something, it takes. It doesn't take even 24 hours. It okay. is proof. The main to, issue, to the main issue that really <laughs> become a controversy is that uh, the APRC are saying that uh, throughout their engagement with you, your party, their top priority was anything that's going to happen is going to involve the coming back of President Yaya Jammeh. That, that, that's what they were saying. Yes, they said that's what is in the agreement. Well, 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 well if they, that's why I said this is between the executive. Mm -hmm. I am not to talk about the agreement. I, I, the document is not here with me. Okay. The parties, the executive of the APRC and the executive of MPP has made an agreement mm -hmm. and it is acceptable to both parties. Mm -hmm. I think that's all I can say here. Okay. I cannot elaborate but whether you know, it is this or not, that. You I are cannot not. tell you it involves Jammeh or doesn't involve Jammeh. Jammeh. It, but then it's APRC, all concerned. The APRC are saying that all the talks dependent on Jammeh. Jammeh's coming is item one. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is this is That's what, what they say. This is this is. That's what worries people who really respect and admire President Barol. People like Fatou Fatou Jaumane, who said, "Well, I, I I think that this alliance absolutely have defeated." Uh, the very reason the task. But far, far, but far. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. So people like her who really wanted to work with President Barrow um, are now doubting his sincerity in terms of uh, implementing the social, political, economic, and all sort of reforms that were packaged in his mandate as coalition president. She's worried that the alliance with the APRC has destroyed that. So many people also are worried. Well, um, is the president not worried that he may lose friends over this alliance? No, 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 not at all. He no, in not. fact, friends are coming. Friends oh, are. In fr fact, friends are coming. In fact, friends are coming because of this alliance with the APRC. Let me tell you that ah, we are very comfortable. That's and uh, in a democratic atmosphere, in a democratic state, you 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 expect this type of thing. Somebody, two, one people, one yes. person, two Ob people obviously. to come out and say, "I'm not satisfied with." The how business is done here, okay. and they go. Exactly. That is very simple, and we welcome that. That's part of it. Fat Jaumane is my sister. We have been in this trouble. Okay. I respect her, <laughs> and uh, I respect her choice. Okay. It is her choice to associate, mm -hmm. according to Section 25 of the 1997 Constitution, mm -hmm. every citizen has the right mm -hmm. to associate to a political party or to disassociate. Okay. Okay. That's what she has done. Right. She has associated herself to President Adam Barrow mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. and she has too soon to go away. It's well and done. People of APRC have chosen to come and associate with the, with the, with the party and also a lot of people, quite a lot of people have chosen now to come and we welcome them. That's democracy. We have no hot feeling in that. You are welcome the supporters. You are now welcoming the party itself. You want it to be part of them. I mean, they have, they have, they have an agreement where you are going to let me, share positions let me tell when, you, when, when, when you are elected. Let me tell you That's here. That's what they say. Charm, let me tell you here. Mm -hmm. The AP, let us not mis, um, mis, uh, mix mm -hmm. the APRC mm -hmm. and the junglers. That's the security. No, no, no. no. We're not talking about junglers. So yeah, that, because when people are saying that this is the government, uh, these are the people who taught, who, who multi the people, no, 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 the people. leadership of the APRC. Leadership. That's the government. No, listen, that's that's the, the government. government. The government of the. That's the government. The government of the day on the APR. That's the government. Let us well, not now. Now listen. Mm -hmm. They are the ones. I mean, you know, the, the party is what becomes government. No, that's always the case. Yeah, but now listen. Mm -hmm. Some of the people in the APRC executive yeah, might have saved, might have served in the government in one in one role or the other. It is the APRC executive that has been accused of a lot of um, wrongs. All right, let me not specify a lot of wrongs. Mm -hmm. The party was, you know, you know, demonized, you know, to, to, to you know to be responsible for a lot of things that you yourself found very, very, very wrong <laughs> when you were in America and fighting. Now, those people, they made the press the the, 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 the affair of President Jamme one of the conditions. They said it many people forum. They will not go into anything without the return. And the restoration of Jamme as a citizen and as ex-president, and with all the these things, 
without that they're not get, engaging in any talk with anybody. Okay. Yet, so, so, so now with this alliance, it just seems that your party has accommodated them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean Mr. Chair, yeah. with all fairness to APRC, mm. they have the right to the freedom of speech. Yes. They have said numerous times yeah. that Yame is coming next month. He's going to pray here. <laughs> yes. That's Didn't you hear that? <laughs> yeah. yeah but, but, but now... Did that have food? Did but, that have food? But now it seems to be... It seems no, no, I mean, no, listen to me. Sound to listen to me. What is, wrong with, what is wrong with APRC telling us that day after election, on the five, you will see Yame here? They have the right to say it. But if they say... Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you. That is... That, that, that is... <laughs> Put in a I'm gamut coming, of issues. Now, no, 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 no. But allow me. No, allow no, no, me. No, 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 I mean, young. Finally, give, me the, give, him the chance, the give him the chance to ask questions. Uh, listen, no, 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 no. It's a moment. I want to, you, to know. I'm coming to you. No, it's not yeah. about coming to me. The gentleman has raised so many issues. Even you if are you come in the studio. No. As the analyst. But no, that's not the point. I'm coming now. The point is, you have put, you have bombarded the gentleman with so many issues, and it will be very difficult to offload. All of these issues. Okay, okay, now let's let's. I am I am doing it systematically. Okay, let's get this. I'm finally. answering them systematically. That's why he's answering. Uh, he's asking from yeah. from the rallies yeah. and now coming to the alliance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, finally, on the alliance. I feel I, like I, we I, should change the name I, of the show I, from the branch today to to <laughs> say yes, show. Yes. Okay. Now. Now. Finally, <laughs> so at least because for now. I am on the hot seat. <laughs> That's why. Okay. That's why is it say Umbar Hotsi? Yeah. Because young guy want to bombard me with, with criticism. No, you no, yourself, no, no. You yourself also, Nene, Nene Gomez also yeah. want to bombard me with some criticism. I know. So okay. I am on the Finally, Hotsi. are you familiar with the document itself, the signed document? That's what I'm telling you. You're a senior member of the NPP. I am telling you. Did, I'm you, not, take, did you take part in the I was not. I was not part of the committee. Yes. I was and not you, part of You the don't committee. know exactly what has been signed. It was the committee. It was a committee that was selected in political parties. Yes. That's how they operate. Okay. So they operate in committees and group, and group. You are not part of People this. will be responsible for logistics, yeah. some will be responsible for accommodation, okay. some will be responsible for campaign, mm. uh, speech, yeah. and other yeah. things. Okay. That's what happens. So I'm not part of um, the committee. Unfortunately, okay. I cannot tell you anything right. about what was yeah. Yeah. Um, we discussed a lot of areas, and I want you to touch. First, it's, very, it's, it's not cumbersome, it's very easy. He talked about the development projects that Mr. Barrow had engaged in and that has changed lives and it looks, you know, and life and livelihood of people in the Upper River Division. And then he talked about the progress the party has been made from Banjul to Bondali and to uh, Jakaba and to Bakadaji and even to Jimara, saying that the party is growing uh, everywhere. And then he talked about uh, the alliance with the APRC. I mean, these are the things we talk about. And easily you can be able to. <laughs> no, but so honestly, okay. I, I okay, think let's, sometimes let's, let's it will be... Let's have your perspective now. Uh, okay. now perspective what do you first. make of um, the fact that the president has achieved a lot of infrastructural development, according to him, particularly in the rural area? Well, I travel the length and breadth of this country. Mm. And I've been to the project site where the bridge is. Mm. I've used in Woodley or in uh, both, both, Woodley and, both, uh, both of them, Barodon. and I've used the southern trunk mm -hmm. that means the road from North Bank, mm -hmm. Barra, mm -hmm. all the way to Pasamas. Mm -hmm. And whilst the construction was on, mm -hmm. I've used it further all the way to Fode Kunda. Mm -hmm. I am happy mm -hmm. that such infrastructure is happening in the country mm -hmm. because it's not only good for the people of that region. Mm -hmm. It is opening up the economic space mm -hmm. for the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And also, it's making um, transshipment out of Gambia more viable, mm -hmm. more efficient, mm -hmm. and more practical. Good. So it's a plus, plus, plus for the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding, mm -hmm. Mr. Mbalo needs to understand that every campaign, political campaign, comes with a mandate. The mandate is the pledge or pledges made by the candidate asking for voters to vote for him. Mm -hmm. Our candidate, President Adam Obaro, mm -hmm. when overwhelming majority of Gambians came out to vote for him, mm -hmm. it was about institutional reforms. It was about reparations and reconciliation. It was about constitutional reform. Now, if I have to use that as a scorecard, Mr. President has woefully failed on his promise and contract 
to the citizenry of this country. Why? Roads are good. Electricity is good. Hospitals and everything are good. But what Gambia really lacks at this present time is a governance architecture that brings in equity and transparency. Equity in the sense that everyone has his or her fair share under the law. Transparency, he knows about our procurement systems today. That's why we had a shady deal in Banjul. If our procurement processes were very transparent, what happened in the contract in Banjul would not have happened. We still have the Public Order Act that has brutalized and victimized many Gambians. We have our constitution that has been amended over and over, and yet still he is happy to go into an election year without any document. So we ask ourselves, Gambia minus Yaya Jame, what have we achieved? Nothing. And now there's an issue between morality and legality. The president, I'm now coming on the issue with APRC and their alliance that I consider to be unholy unholy in the sense that it is very insensitive to the plight of many that have suffered the wrath of the brutal brute called Yaya Jame. Legally, they are within their rights to do what they are doing. But see, a human being must be guided by morals, ethics, and conscience. And their actions, this is not only the president, it's a collective endeavor. The actions of the NPP party has breached the trust and confidence that people had that our government, mm -hmm. allow me, yeah, our, our government, he shaking his head our government will do the right thing come the implementation of the TRRC. And why are we saying this? We've already seen what happened with the Jane Commission, Kumamu Amdai and Kumamu Amutndai. We have seen how they railroaded and how they have really tranquilized and neutralized the draft constitution. What we are saying here is Sehumbalo fought gallantly to make sure Yaya Jame was no longer. If Yaya Jame was bad when he was fighting, mm -hmm. why is Yaya Jame good today when Yaya Jame is yet to face justice? That's why these people in my books, I'm sorry to say, I call them convenient apologists. Mm -hmm. Why are they convenient apologists? Whatever they're doing today suits their short-term needs, and they have forgotten about the medium to long-term needs of this nation. And I dare tell you their actions will come back to haunt them because they didn't put country first in their deliberations. Mr. Bala, do you agree that uh, legally the NPP, President Barrow, has every right to enter into any agreement or do whatever but morally the people will feel offended and will punish you at the ballot box for bringing or even considering bringing back Yaya Jame whom everybody said was a bad ruler a bad president well, well whatever young guy said no it's not only him no, there no, are no. people with this kind of view yeah i know this uh, well, what i'm saying is mr cham yeah every person well, why don't you feel president Jame's, Jame's methods were wrong now are we using, is MPP going to use Jamis method? But it's not, supposing somebody, APRC coming to support us, to go with us, does that mean that APRC is going to lead? It means Jamis is coming leading. back. Where is the morality? We it have the party, we have our constitution. It, it means Jamis The party has a constitution, it means the party has, is in, in government, hmm. but having somebody just b behind you, hmm. does that mean that is leading you? Let yeah. me let people like but, mis, um, what if that person, see, people like Nyangai, mm -hmm. they are out to mislead the Gambian people. Okay, this is nah. that, and that is very dangerous. Okay, nah. so, now let, let me ask that you. is very Asking where is his moral compass? Let me ask you. 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 Let me bringing Jamme back, non-implementation uh, non of TRRC, this is what they said, that's what they are looking for. Well, now, you, you as a government, accepting them with those conditions, 
then definitely you are not telling you are, not, you are telling everybody that well of course we have accepted these people and what they are conditions are. Mr. 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 Chan. Mm. Mr. Chan, it's not, not the case. Putting a condition mm -hmm. and accepting a condition is totally different. Well, you, you can put a condition to me, mm -hmm. but whether I will accept that condition mm -hmm. is another thing. Mr. Chan. But then you didn't come back to say no, no we are not accepting. Are, people are emphasizing. A lot of people are saying that they said this, so that means the government is doing that or the MPP is doing that. That is not the case. Mr. Chan. Okay. They have put up a demand. Yes, a condition. Did, did, did you see anywhere written that the MPP or the Secretary General of the MPP mm -hmm. agree on this Mi or some a member of executive of the MPP has accepted that? But Mr. Chair, that is the condition. If these are just people, Mr. Chair, where is it? Where well, well, you have the right to put your condition for me to come here? Whether I will respect that condition, whether I will go. Mr. Chair. It's okay. Mr. Cham, you are wasting your time because the no, gentleman I'm, I'm told you, I'm putting you allow time. me, allow me, you are wasting your time. He no, said he is not privy to the agreement. Mm -hmm. So his defenses are baseless right now because he is not privy. And I know he is privy. Allow me. I know he is privy. You see the issue here is, <laughs> how do you know allow me, allow me, allow me, allow me, allow me. How do you know he's privy? Well, he is making he a defense. No, that was a negotiation. Uh, Mr. Cham, allow me. Uh -huh. I am agreeing with you that mm. his conversation right now is baseless yes. Yes. because he said he wasn't privy yes. but in as much as he said he wasn't privy mm. he is making a defense Mm. But but allow me. You well, you since you're tell you what well, then you are privy. If well, you of know, he said, I agree with you. He said that somebody saying that we, somebody said we are agreeing, we have agreed to this doesn't mean that the other side is agreed to it. Mr. Cham, mm. the issue here is mm. we all know that when the Islamic Republic of Gambia was instituted, mm. we know where Dec it went. Declared, to. yeah, declared. We know where it went to. Mm -hmm. The state of emergency that led to the impasse, we knew who invoked it, Fabakari Tombong Jata. Mm. How on earth can moral people, moral now, not anything else, moral people with a compass on their head of right and wrong, even though if nobody knows, in your hearts of heart, you knew that these people have endangered a whole number of Gambians to the point you have young Gambians being born as destitutes across the border because they had to flee. How can you reconcile in your hearts of heart, gentlemen, especially fighting that good fight you fought over the years, to sit down today and say, it is all right for the people who triggered such a discomfort to Gambians for us to be strange bedfellows unless and until you're nothing but a convenient apologist. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with him that uh, I you know? You know, totally totally you know. You know what? Is, you know what is the issue? Is? Yes. You see, the APRC have made it very clear. They've made it very clear. They went from Carton to Quena, told their militants that we are going to ally with the NPP on the condition that President Jamme will come back into this country. Well, no, listen, listen. Well, that's not, I, that's, I, I, no, 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 that's number one. I answer that question. No, that's no, no, listen. Now, if you are, and they still insisted. Yeah. Now, if the people said now that the NPP has ac accepted APRC, that Jamme is coming back after you signed that agreement, I mean, the people are right to say that you want Jamme back. Mr. Chan, to, mm. to make a long story short, mm -hmm. the coalition was signed. Yes. Did they, people were asking up, 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 to, up to how many, uh, almost one year? The coalition 2016. So, where are the signatures? Did yes. they produce the, the signatures? I saw, the I saw a bit it of was just, No, yeah. it was never produced. Mm. It's only the preliminary pre pre mm. that was produced for calling them together to sign and remember. Mm. But this actual thing, mm -hmm. until today, mm -hmm. Did you see? Mr. Cham, it's a dead uh, horse. Okay. You need to move on. So that means so, Mr. What, what he is saying, telling me that yeah. I, I am privy to this thing. Yeah. He is, I mean, uh, yeah, you, you, you are not on the part, you are not part of the negotiation. You bring somebody who is an analyst here uh -huh. and, 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 and just accuse somebody. I am you know, not accusing you. No, no, he said. You, he, he I said, am not accusing you. He is not privy to it. He is not. I am not. That's not what I said. Okay. Now, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on because we will agree to disagree. Now, let's move on to the city. Alliance. See, yes. you were busy, very busy. Are you going to allow me to give my take? On no, no, listen. Yes. No, we'll, we'll, hi, we'll hear you important. first. We'll hear you first. Well, and well, then okay. Ask me the question before I okay. Give my take. All right, let's me ask your take now. What is your we take? Want to hear about we want to hear about citizens. No, no, 
You know they you know they said they are going to tile super down. Tile super down. Tile super down. I want to go to super down. <laughs> okay. I'm more than happy. Oh no. Now listen. Okay. I have a little message. Can you allow? Okay. Can can we start with that? Can we start with that and come here? Start with what? With the CS recent. Okay, all right, 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 okay, what do you, what do you, okay, what do you make of, he said, the three things he said, you know, and Nyang acknowledged too, there have been tremendous developments in the URR, people's lives and ways of living have changed, Nyang acknowledged this very good, but then of course he had trouble with cardinal issues that the coalition government headed by Barrow, Promised people to implement such as institution reform, institution reform, and other things. Um, and, 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 I, I agree with you 100%. All right. Because we all remember how this coalition came into being. Okay. okay? At the end of the day, we love roads and bridges, like yeah. Barrow would say, Barrow roads and bridges. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> okay. And he's got it. Uh, but then one thing I want to say if we have to sit here 2021, 20, 21st century, and clapping and celebrating that because somebody has built a road for us, that tells us as a people how much we are far behind. Mm, okay? I mm. think this has, should have been done a long time ago. And these are things that we should be clapping and celebrating. Like the people out there that got it deserve it because mm. they are Gambians. Mm -hmm. If I am enjoying a road in Banjul and Kotu and Pipeline and Fajada, they should equal it because they pay taxes. Mm. So it's good. But then again, like Nyang said, when they came into power, this was not the thing they promised the Gambia. This was not the contract between them and the people. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a complete blatant misplaced priority. Mm -hmm. But still, well and good, we'll take it that they've given it to us. But for me, I think it is something that they should do. This is a government, and a government should govern. That is what we put them into power to do, not to be stewards to oppositions and, and, and criticizing or whatever. Not only but that, moving along from mm -hmm. point of point of order. Moving along. Uh -huh. Not only bring uh, not Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh -huh. Yeah, honorable, no, 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 no,
betray you. One thing I can tell you, Gambians, I am trustworthy. That's why my party, the UDP, entrusted me with their finances to manage for so many years. Okay? I'm a trustworthy person. That's why the UDP took me, chose me as their flag, flag bearer. What happened to that word trust? Okay? You know, you mentioned here things that ought to be the moral, the ethics, the actions. I want to add here integrity. Where is that? Okay? Where is your conscience? I mean, hello? The woman don't follow Purmoye Nina. <laughs> so uh, Sandeng no, will no, be rolling no, no, on his I grave want, today want, that his, his me, own me, comrade no, listen, that he fought yeah, gallantly yeah, with yeah, has yeah, sold him yeah, out yeah, yeah, and that is President Barrow. Yeah, it's not your time. I want, I want to help you. Yeah, Nene, Nene, you were trying to say in Mandinka that the woman do follow Manyo Zude. That's for President Barrow's famous proverb. When, 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 did, when did darkness creep until we don't recognize each other? <laughs> Politics, politics what, change. What, what, what they said the politics change. What was the reason why no. we have the the the, the, the Ghana Commission but, 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 to unite the Gambia? No. That, it has happened in agriculture. <laughs> it has happened in trade. Oh, right. It has happened in Africa. Oh, right. Are united. Good point. T R R C was for point. account arm. Um, the Jane Commission. No, 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 you are, it's not your turn. No. No, 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 Jane no. Commission yeah. was for accountability. It's a process and Nyang, you're not Nyang, the driver Nyang, of the process. Nyang, the commission Nyang, is the driver Nyang, of the process. Can, can you stop Nyang for me now? <laughs> because you're allowing Mr. No, 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 no. Mbalo no, no, no. to no, no, no. mislead no, no. Gambians. Jane Commission wasn't here to reconcile Gambians. It was for accountability. Point of correction. Accountability. Okay. Now Nene will go ahead. Nyang and Mbalo, listen. <coughs> no, uh, Mr. Mr. Mbalo, we want to support, but let's not be blind supporters, okay? Let's hold our leaders to account. Like Nyang said, if we want to use a checklist to say, you told us one, two, three, four, five, all the way to ten. Now we want to check another five years, because when you appoint leaders, elect leaders, you, you, it's a contract. You say, um, you elect them to do something for you, a job. At the end of the year, if you want to renew the contract, you check whether the period that you've elected them or you've hired them for, they've executed a good on the job, right? And now if you want to do a checklist or borrow of the things that he campaigned on, you know, the first he broke was the three years. For me, I have lost anything to think the borrow will do anything better. Because of the Constitution. <laughs> borrow did that, no, he, no, he respected the Constitution. Okay. Section 63, okay. subsection 1, state that any elected of the, uh, I mean, elected president of this country should serve a term of five years. Very good. Once again, that. conveniently that's apologetical. Three years was okay. just a friendly agreement. Okay, very okay. good. Okay. Right. The Constitution <laughs> supersedes any law in this country. That's true. Let's, let's listen for to the that. purpose of this argument, Allow I give it to you, even though I vehemently disagree, but for the purpose of this argument, I give it to you. He respected the Constitution, okay? Mm -hmm. But then again, how about respecting the will of the people? What happened to that? Because that's not what he's doing right now. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, listen, listen to her. Let's, that's what he's let's doing. Let her clarify. Just, why, do, why do you say he's not doing the willing of... Yeah, listen, he's doing what the people want, so want him to do. What do you mean by that? If he says, okay, mm. this is a guy that I cannot go in this with. This is a guy who has done all this thing. Why was the TRRC established here? Why was the Jani Commission established? It was all because Jami has done things in this country that needed to be looked into to hold him to account and bring him to to, uh, to book. That was the reason, I believe. So if that has not even happened, of course the Jani Commission has been kicked to the court like about having. No, 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 no. Let's listen. No, we foresee, we no. foresee the TRRC to go the same line. No, no, because no. Remember, if the ERC people have said, and my, my issue even with them, they have a right to associate with anybody. But then as a people of conscience and integrity and good character and loving people, patriotic people, they are not coming into alliance with NPP because they believe in the developmental agenda of the NPP. They believe in the competence and capacity of the leader, uh, Barrow. But then they, they say categorically clear, it is uh, um, out of convenience. It's survival of the fittest. Because among all the parties that they engage, among all the talks they have, they feel is the NPP uh, the, the who can salvate them, who can bring them back. 
That's why they're doing that. Nothing, and this is, has nothing to do with the supporters, the plight of the people. Remember, they're still they, victims. They have the right. Who are in the hospital? They're still victims who are on medication. Now listen to that. They're still victims, you know, okay. who okay. cannot, you know, do their daily things because of the atrocities or that uh, they've been a victim. It's still existing. It's not like everybody has been taken care of. Those people have been taken care of. We don't even, uh, the dust has not settled yet. You come back to slap this on our face. And for me, I don't have a problem. Members of EBRC, they're citizens, they have a right. To move but around. then, the same party that you have openly, with the help of the International Committee, everybody else, to uh, establish those commissions, to restore hope and dignity, you come back and want to put that to the side and say, okay, because I want to entrench myself. And remember, Barrow has said it. It's better for him to die than lose this election, so he will do everything else. Where is the people here in this all this equation? Where is me and you our plight? Mm. Okay. Where is me and you in this? Okay. So that is what citizens need to look at. It's right. just about it's, it's beyond it's beyond Point not yet. it's beyond party politics. It's yeah. beyond partisanship. It's beyond supporting. It's okay. beyond the crowd. Mr. Uh, okay. We're talking about Gambia here. Very good. Very good. Let, before we come to see now you 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 <coughs> you, 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 you had what she said. I have heard what he said. Let me come and, 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 and so give you a summary. Mm -hmm. He is questioning, I mean, President Adam Abaro delivery mm -hmm. for what he has been elected for. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you what he has fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that President Adam Abaro has done exactly what, what he was elected for. Mm -hmm. President Adam Abaro was elected to make sure mm -hmm. he unite this country. This country was very divided. The country is no, more divided today no, no, than no, no, ever. No, 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 you have to the listen. The country is more divided no, no, you have today to listen. than ever. No, you have to listen. Yes. Nene. Stop Nene. Stop Nene. No, 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 no. You, you have to listen to her. Okay, I'm going to listen. Okay. The country was divided, yes. Now she's here united. Yes. This, this country was... But he needs to be brief. This country was... Civ brief. This country was severely... Divided. Divided. Mm -hmm. Prior to 2016. We mm -hmm. all know that. Mm -hmm. Several Gambians were exiled. Mm -hmm. So many things happen. Mm -hmm. As human beings, mm -hmm. as a Gambian who is very competent like President Adam Abaro, the first thing he has to look at was how can he unite the people? Mm -hmm. How can they live as one family? In 2017, we have seen people who are even scared, supporters of APRC, to wear t shirt So that happen in a democratic state. No. People were following women. Are 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 President Barrow will not allow that to happen in this country. As somebody who respects the fundamental rights of every citizen, even the immigrants, and that's what some people are advocating for. That will never happen in this country. We are all we are all Gambians. That's what this government believes. That's what President Arma Barrow believes. Because of somebody yesterday was an opposition. We have the rule of law. We have the TRRC. It's going to be implemented. They cannot, nobody will force the executive or President Adam Barrow to do something right now. Whoa. He has established the, 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 the TRRC. Mm -hmm. yes, the process is on. Mm -hmm. The process is on to make sure that he looked at, it will be reviewed. The committee, committee, committee of our legal experts will go through this thing and they will look at what is definitely applicable. That is what is happening. But it seems some people want, they, they think that they can force the government because they are opposing or because they are critics, they can compel the government to, 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 to do actions that are not that are not applicable. That might not bring peace and stability in this country. Mr. Cham, no, that cloak of peace and stability. No, no, but Mr. Cham, no, if you want to have a conversation, no, but if you want us to have a conversation, it has to be interactive. We are not spectators here to I am not here to listen to be lectured by a conveniently apologetic champion. Okay. I'm responding mm -hmm. to what Nene. I allow Nene to learn yes. and she has, mm -hmm. she has raised her concerns. Mm -hmm. I'm telling her what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm telling her what happened. Okay. The government, President Arab Barrow was elected. I said what he has e elected, what he was elected for, he has, he has, de he has delivered them. Mm -hmm. Number one, President Arab Barrow has managed to make sure that all other parties are working in harmony in this country. He said, very hard. 
we, we all know what, what was happening in this country. Today, nobody will threaten Hussein Udabo or nobody will threaten CM and um, Citizen Alliance leaders because of their opposition. We, he is promoting. He is Thanks promoting, to our collective he, endeavor. He is promoting. Look at him. Yeah, but he, he is, he is because he is not allowed, he needs to interject. We are not here to be lectured. We are here to have a dialogue. No, 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 I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. See, see, question. We said Baro didn't deliver. Baro didn't deliver what he was. Like, that's what I'm telling you, what he has delivered. No. I'm not lecturing you. Yeah, but let it be brief. So, you just want to intercept me. No, 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 no. Uh, because we are not getting anywhere. Now, listen, let's, let's, let's. The issue is okay. We are in a political system. Yes. Everybody can expect that there will be tolerances, there will be promises, there will be pledges. And you know, all over the world, you know, people, politicians come up with issues, pledges, and promises. I know in societies where uh, the citizenry are very, very, very conscious, a, full, a, a failed promise can cost you votes. Um, how do you call it? A lie can cost you support. An unholy alliance, particularly with a very unpopular entity, can cost you support. What people who might have really loved President Barrow, as, as we have seen the case, we have seen people in the NPP who announced that they are not going to support the NPP anymore because of the alliance with the APRC. I want to know where, in your own honest view, is the alliance with the APRC a smart move? Couldn't the NPP got supporters of the APRC without touching the brand APRC? Since you very well know, you fought against it, you know that party hasn't got that popularity among the people. Is it not a bad move for, you know, for your party to, to accept them? That's what people who love NPP themselves are saying over and over. What I am telling you, Cham, yeah. based, based on what I have heard people speaking, and also people opinion in the country yeah, it's, it's a good move it's a very good move it's a very good move so looking at also it is wrong for somebody to say that aprc is not popular mm. if aprc was not popular they contested the election on on, on, on the first of december 2016. look at the record eight parties joined what what were the difference how can you categorize a party like that as unpopular. No, I'm, do, I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, it is wrong to generalize to say that APRC party is it unpopular. Still now there are other parties here, other parties here that APRC can can can, can triple them. New parties coming up. I don't want to say, it. I don't want to annoy uh, Nene. New parties coming. They cannot tell you even a base, and they are going to claim that they are going to form an alliance with an other party. They don't even have a base. There are parties that don't, do, do not even have a base. And they are going to form an alliance with other parties. So what will stop us? If we are trying to reunite this country, we are trying to reconcile this country, the, the people of this country. APRC belongs to the, is a registered political party in this country. The people of APRC are also within the family of Gambia. Mr. Cham. Why, what would stop us? What would stop us from... No, but Mr. Cham. Allying an alliance. How can allying with APRC, NPP allying with APRC, amounts to reconciliation? In fact, in some quarters, it is, it is a slap and a worsening of the situation and even, I mean, making people even more angry. Because, I mean, if the APRC want to reconcile, all they need to do is to accept that, look, there have been wrongs under our system, and we haven't, we, we, we profoundly apologized. Mr. Chan. All right? But we have seen systematically some of them even denying Defiance. So how can you say NPP APS Alliance is really? going to, is going to okay. really, is going to, Honest. is going to result in, in, in reconciliation? Well, let me right. tell you. Mr. Chan. Well, if you are telling Are we here to be lectured or are we here to interact? You ask me question. No, but you honestly. Ask me question. Can, you, can you allow me to answer? Yeah, go ahead. Now, what you, the question you have asked about APRC members. Now, let me tell you, right now, in some of the parties, even the opposition, if there are APRC executives. Mamadou Sabali is one. What is wrong? Before you blame the executive, was Mamadou Sabali not an executive member of, of, the, of, of, of the APRC? 
Why can the people, if they can question AP, um, uh, NPP, why can they question Mohamed Shaban, who was the Secretary General, who stood and insulted the et Mandinka ethnic in this uh, group, in this country? I have never heard Tombo Njada or Rambo Njada insulting any, 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 any tribe here in this country. But if UDP can accept Momodu Sabali for the sake of uniting the country, if they can accept Tombo Saidi in that, in, that, in that country, if they can accept people, people like Suku Singare, they all left the APRC <laughs> and they were with UDP. Mr. Chair. So, so why, why is it that the question is only on MPP? No, no, that might Mr. Chairman, allow us to interject now. No, what I'm telling you is... Mr. Chairman. They have gamblers who had troubles, disagreements with gamblers because of the those are there. They are not necessarily UDP. Mr. Chairman. No, I'm not trying to give you an example. I'm trying to give you an example. Honestly, 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 they are doing. Honestly, Mr. Cham, I think um, you have done, no, no, you have done disservice to your show today, and I will tell you why. The issues raised are so many, and it have, we haven't had the opportunity to act. I want the gentleman to understand two things. Can we move from this area? No, 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 no. Can let me finish. Move Allow me. Because he I have answered a question about No, the I am not. Let's, let's I'm putting stop. it to you that individual Gambians, including Fabakari Tombong Jata, have the right to move from one party to another so long as they haven't broken any law or they haven't caused grievous bodily harm to any Gambian. That's not the problem. APRC is a registered legal entity and it has been an instrument of repression against the greater goods interest of the state. Therefore, we Gambians who are conscientious and moral to a point believe that any group aligning with the institution called APRC is doing it against the greater goods interest. Why? Because you and I know what APRC stood for then. And what they stood for then is yet to be cleared out. Why hasn't it been cleared out? There is no accountability yet. And there is no atonement. And without accountability, justice and atonement, you cannot have reconciliation. So what you are attempting to do or your leader is attempting to do is bollocks, is fake, is cosmetic. Because the underlining issues are still there, be it for the people of Fonyi and be it for the victims of Jame. So let us get to the nitty gritty of what this country needs. Tough it up, let us be real, and let us hold people accountable, and after holding them accountable as one family, we can come together again. That's why I call you and your team conveniently apologetic, because you know right and wrong, but you choose what is convenient because it suits your immediate short-term needs. That's, 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 not, that's not the case. Okay, what about, that, what let me, about, what about his thoughts on, on, on the fact that people don't have any trouble with NPRC members? Well, you have addressed that, of course, individual ones can go. Uh, and he said the opposition fears this coalition because they know it is definitely going to amount to victory for the NPP. So that's what they do. So be it. Let it be victory. So be it, let it be victory. But the issue is not about victory here. It's about right and wrong. And Mr. Mbalo, where is your conscience? When you stood at the cold winter and also in the summer, September, when Jame used to come to the UN and fight. Well, the, well, all that fight. That, that, allow, that, that, allow me. That, allow me. That is, allow me. Allow me. That all that. No, no it hasn't passed. No, we, has are, we are freedom now. It hasn't passed we because are we are yet. We are yet to hold the culprit and his enablers accountable. Therefore, you are not fair with the victims of Jame. My issue is not the individual Rambo Jata Fabaker. My issue is the institution called APRC. How unconscionable it is. An instrument of repression as it were for you to want to be a strange bad fellow. Then your credentials of fighting for your people is nothing but a charade is nothing but something that suits your personal agenda not the greater good's interest i'm sorry with all due respect yeah. For me, I, I just wanna, let's go to see no wait 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 <coughs> okay. i just want to finish this uh, uh conversation okay. and move on because again it's clear that he really does not want to listen or he's listening but doesn't want to take it 
all right? And like uh, uh, Nyan said, because it's convenient for them. But one thing I will say, you and your camp, or Baro and his cohort, I think you need to go back, establish an academy, all right? Learn the word struggle, learn the word promise, learn the word honesty, okay? Integrity. These are things, integrity. Learn Honor. because you, 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 you misuse it. And really, you're, you're doing a disservice to the majority of people. Because these are things that all of you lack. Like you said, uh, failed promises can, can, can uh, um, um, make you lose votes. Okay? Lies can make you lose votes. Unholy alliances can make you lose votes. And if anything to go by, one thing that this administration under the leadership, it, leadership of Anna Barbaro is good at, if anything they've done best since they come into, in, into, into being is failing promises and telling us things that are not true and getting into things that does not serve the interest of the greater good. But again, you know, for me, my policy is I only debate with people who listen and understand, have a comprehension of what we're talking about. Every other people, I teach them and I from today, I put you into that category. So I'll teach you because I'm not going to debate with you. You're going to get it. So can we move on to CA now? Like, I'm ready to talk <laughs> about that. Yeah, yeah, let's, talk, let's talk about yeah, CA. Okay, yeah. Let me you, come. Let me come. Would, you like, would you like to react? Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Uh, let me tell you. Um, I'm, it's good. I mean, yeah. I'm happy that... Um, Amen. The discu discussion is going. Exactly. Nene has the right. Yeah. I have the right, and uh, also uh, Nyangjai yeah. to come and express how we feel and, and our, our opinion. Thank That's you. That's democracy. Thank but you. the bottom line is, oh the Gambian people appreciate appreciate what President Adam Abaro and his government is doing, okay. and a testimony of it is going to be seen on the fourth of December that they appreciate what he is doing. Good. With all the bala bala you hearing. Those are just empty talks. What is important is the general voters, the Gambians, how they feel. And they have seen that President Adam Baro is giving them that, uh, uh, the promise that he promised on, uh, when he was campaigning in 2016. He promised them that they will live here no longer uh, in, in a fearing mood. And now they have that. He, gave, he told them that he would improve, improve the living condition of, 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 of the people. And, and, and he has delivered it. So now, I mean, we cannot stop other people. We cannot stop people of the Citizen Alliance who want to who, who want to come to power. We cannot we cannot I uh, mean also stop people like Nyangai who are disgruntled. We, we can we, we, I am we, not disgruntled. We, 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 this are disgruntled. Point of correction. I'm not disgruntled. He was but I'm not disgruntled. Sim simply because. Okay. Let him understand the word. No, what no, no, is no, no, being no, no, disgruntled? No, 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 no. No, what is disgruntled? No, 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 no. He doesn't. He is using a word loosely. He was working at the OI. No, no, no. Allow him. No, finish. I left on my own terms, by the way. No, no. But he brought it. He said, I'm disgruntled. Okay, okay, okay. Mr. Gentleman, okay, you, you need to use I the Webster. Use the English language appropriately when you speak. You can, it's a democracy. You can if I, if I no, no, but in the word is run to, he needs to understand it. If I were working in barrel government, on a supervision of barrel government, yeah. and I happen to be fired or I have disagreement and I gap, yeah. uh, yeah. I would say that I'm. I'm you know, people will categorize me as saying Mbaro is disgruntled because he was being Un Unfortunately, you're, you're loosely using the English that's language. That's, of course, that's, that's no, right. use it properly. You know, they allow people to no, talk. That's the problem. Like yeah, but the word disgruntled is wrong. Yeah. You're using a wrong word. Okay, okay let's move I don't want. You know, they went around Mbaro. Who? She. She went around. They went around, they were in Soma, they were in. With the, con with the convoy of 10 people? Ten no, they had a lot of people to no, in, but no, I saw. I, 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 when, I they arrive, see. when they arrive in the super, I, I always see, I always, I, I see Dr. Cissé uh, with five people five following people, him. Uh, and sometimes no. in the farms, no. sometimes in the kitchen with people cooking. You saw no. that? No, no. no. And that, when they went to Soma, they, that, that's they, were, not, they were forced to come to clarify mm. that they didn't actually mean that. They said, going to tie the whole suit. I was going to move there. So it's going to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you went around, you were in the kitchen, I could see you in farms, in kitchens, people were saying, hey, doctor. Even, even young, guy, young guy, if he had formed a party, uh, uh, believe me, he will draw a, a crowd more than what they are drawing. <laughs> I'm telling you this. There you go. I 
I tell you this. Okay, because we, we, I mean, people have known him, known Jai Jai. At least, he, I mean, he has been in this trouble. Here. I'm telling you. No, I disagree. If he, I, if he died, but I'm telling you. Where are the following? He has a lot of admiration. I was surprised when they say CA is going round. I saw these people playing a football team. They want a lot of A political party like a football team. But seriously, doctor is entering. I can see him. No, no, no. Reception very good, especially among the youths in the, in, in the, in the universities. I mean, you have become a lot of places, they're getting momentum to the sales. And they're not induced. And, 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 uh, and they don't have money. They're not and induced. They, the followers are not induced. They don't have money? No, they don't How have money. How can you go into politics without money? They don't have money. They just come with a message. But just a message? Yes. Well, well, I, I'm sorry for they them. They don't have a free call number CA1. <laughs> they are still growing cars. Okay, then, do you agree that even Young's party would be more popular than you? I'm telling you, let him put an independent candidate. He's good here. I, 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 I promise you, here. No, no, I will not because I'm not cut out for that. But really, but I, I said, think. But he said you are, you are, you are, you are, you are a politician. No, no, no. I, I am not a politician. Known, well, even despite the fact he's our critics, we do yeah, argue. Let's Me, let's I don't see. care about. Yeah. I will. I will say what somebody is capable of doing. But at least I'm consistent. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. But I am consistent. You know? Okay, let's let's hear from CA. You, you, the thing is, you've been at all over. Your, your supporters are, you know, neutral. Where is his base? Observers believe. Where is his base? Where is his A let of hell. The doctor is the politician that brings himself down, you know, to the people, appreciate how they live, understand their daily, uh, I mean, needs that he's doing a very good job that's and i i well, agree i agree 110 percent with anybody who says that yeah. because politics is not about uh, uh mobilizing money and trying to induce people because people are vulnerable yeah, who induce people? the people, who the, induce people well we see that happening and i i will i, I will okay. i i will that's boldly right. not even try to run away okay, from the right. issues your party the npp is doing that no no and that's no, why no, they're no. getting the support no, 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 no. they're getting the following that they're getting no, we are, we are okay. not, because yeah. of the okay. project because because I, I, I don't beat around the bush okay that's i hit the nail on the head we are so not you would know that but we are not anywhere near that and that's not what we want to do citizens alliance was born out of necessity and we want to change the narrative. And I think since our inception, we've been doing just that. We've been leading and others follow because we've changed the narrative. We've changed okay. the dynamics of politics. Well, why the way they, people why do politics, politics with the exception, with the exception, with the exception, with the exception of the NPP, all other parties are following suit because they have the interest of the, uh, the country at heart and they also understand the plight of the citizenry. And what this Dr. Sisa is doing is exactly what a politician or a, a, an aspiring leader should do. If you don't know, if I don't know what your problem is, I cannot solve it. I cannot uh, uh, come up with a solution. Your problem is different from Sehumbalo's problem, is different, man, and it's different, it's, uh, different from Nyanjai's issues or plight. You have to go down to the level of the people, listen to them, understand what their issues are in anticipation and with the hopes that you're going to be the next leader, then you'll be able to solve it. If you don't do that, then you take up the government. Like, uh, 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 the reason why Araba Baro is having issues is that was what happened. Because th this administration was handed to him on a silver platter. He did not work for it. It was given to him. Or now he has not engaged to know what the citizenry is uh, we're crying for or whatever. Of so course, now that's of why, course. of course, but, he's but acting the way he's acting. And we have studied that we've understood no, 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 no. what the no, no, no. issues are okay. with this administration. The reason why for four years, getting into five years, we have not able to move one step. We understand what the issues are, the reasons, and that's why we want to solve. And that is what exactly Citizens Alliance is doing. Okay. Now, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And 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 and, 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 and one question you asked, I wanna. No, 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 I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Exactly, I'm not finished. And one thing you ask is, where is your base? Where is where is the base of the citizen alliance? Where is the base of the citizen alliance? <laughs> what question you ask, we are more than happy to answer. Okay. Where is the base of Citizens Alliance? Yes, yes. And I will tell you here, and all viewers who have asked or want to know, yes. the base of Citizens Alliance is Gambia. 
Because we are, we came into in, into existence because we care about the plight of Gambians. No, your region, the region where you are, is very strong, very strong. Very very strong. I can tell you, I can tell you. We we do part. not believe. We do not believe into this style that they do. Is oh, we have conquered Basie. You are <laughs> at our base. We're going to get you are or whatever. But then at the end of the day, you understand? You cannot even prove it. Let's be factual here. Where where is your baseline? I mean, G, uh, GDC has gone to Basie. Okay, you've seen the crowd and the people. You think like okay, where these people are, are, are not honest to borrow. I mean, uh, uh, unity has gone there. And then you see the crowd, you wonder like, what has happened? We have gone to Basel because all along we've been debating. Do we go there? Do we not go there? Do we go there? Do we? Because of the noise they've been making, the the, the NPP, that but, uh, you, you are a husband cocker. But when we went there, you wonder like, hello, what is happening? So for me, that is just a matter of assumption and perception. When we get to the polls, then we will know really where exactly. people's hearts exactly. are. Exactly. So please stop, you know, killing us with a base, 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 base. <laughs> As far as at the level of Citizens Alliance, our base is Gambia. Because okay, the you, people of Bakau are not the only people suffering. The people of Banjul are not the only people suffering. The thank people you. of UR are not the people suffering. When we talk about lack of a better health care, it affects everybody else. When we talk about bad roads, it affects everybody else. When we talk about agriculture, the farmers not having fertilizers or seeds to grow. It's not only the people of Fajara or Bakau. It affects whole Gambia. Our base is Gambia because we want to fight and help and restore hope and dignity for every Gambian, for all. So our base is Gambia. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's move, Let's on. move on. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so you're talking about... Uh, okay. How was the reception um, in your store? When President Barrow went to Bakadaji and other places, uh, uh, we heard him say that he's very impressed that the people are listening to him, that if he comes back on December 5th, it's going to be a whole new show. We promised, you could say, paradise for people. Mm -hmm. what, how, what was the message of... Uh, Dr. Sisi at all these places. Well, we, our message is mm -hmm. we want to restore hope and dignity for them. Because hope. <laughs> 2016, when this election came, the likes of myself, for the first time, I got involved in politics full time, mm -hmm. touring this country. Because I was hopeful that change is about to come. I lost hope, okay? And our community has been just trampled upon. Right now, we are a laughing stock, okay? A, a Chinese has more right in this country than I do. Because mm -hmm. the Chinese will come with a briefcase and, mm -hmm. and be able to have access no, to state house. No. I cannot have that. No. A Chinese will be able to go and submit uh, at the Minister of Lands and say, I need this place and this place to do this and this and this. You get it within a week. I am not able to do that. So our dignity has been given away. And that's what we want to restore to, uh, to, to all citizens and Gambians for that matter. And that's the message we give to people when we go there. And like you said, right, you said, mm -hmm. it's on, 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 on camera. You see the way they do politics and the way we do politics. We go to the to rule. 
rule this country. You are in power. What happened to that? And people will tell you. You know when when a lot of people say, you know what? Uh, uh, in the Greater Bandu area, KM maybe at least as far as Bikama, they understand these messages or whatever. But when you go to the grassroots, you know the Kabadas, the Kians, the uh, Nyaminas, and the people themselves will tell you. You listen to them. It's not us putting it on. They themselves will tell you. Then you realize that you know what? People are awoke now. People are really ready for change. Hmm. So when you sit here and okay. think, okay, the grassroots or okay. the rural areas, they don't know what is happening. They will always go and vote because you give them a uh, 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 salary and they don't need and three thousand dollars. They're gonna vote for you. You must be joking. You are up for I tell you, we are so comfortable in Sukkot. I'm all the best. Then you, 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 you. you See when you mention Sukkot, you get a lot. Funny for me. So let me clarify that because you are little. You used to have made to climb. Right? Yeah, exactly. Tell us something. How did you get Miss I want to hear, learn from something from Sukuna. See, see, this is, this is, this is, this was Dr. Caesar speaking. And again, <laughs> no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And again, it, that, that particular portion was cut out of a long speech or submission he was given. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you and I, you and I know, you and I know. You How did he get Miss Cotton? But, but when you use the word tile, yeah. when you use the word tile, it's not the literal word of the tile, okay? Maybe, I mean, if he has to use the word base, people will not take it out of context this way. Okay, but obviously, I mean, everybody that knows Dr. C C will not will, will not want to believe that Dr. C C means that I am going to tie like this kind of tie. So 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 are they not justified each time to come on and clarify balance? Because he said the thing what they did to Bruce is smile, huh? It's what they do tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. no, it's, it's completely different. It's completely different. It's completely different. But Lamin. If they want to change it, I'll give it to Lamin. Lamin. Shakespeare said once one thing, and I want Mr. Mbalo, when he gets home, and have a good rest to reflect on this. To thine own self be true. We know for a fact that you can love Baro all you want. But in as much as you love Baro, have a conscience that say that Baro is human and sometimes he does things that are wrong or his ambition over clouds the rationale that he needs to understand what is the greater good's interest. But unfortunately, the reason most African leaders fail is the incubator they find themselves in. And that incubator is built by the likes oh, of Mbalo, who refuse to look at these people and tell them, sorry for my language, your shit stinks. Alpha Conde is suffering from that malice. Yaya Jame suffered from that malice because he's in a fence. We're not being realistic with him and we're not being truthful to him. The only way Mr. Mbalo and his team can help the president is to tell him the echoes and the murmurs and the chatter that's out there, rather than trying to insulate him, because that's the Gambian reality. The Gambian reality is our hopes were high December 2016. Our expectations were not on roads, electricity, it, were, it was on building institutions, reforming the civil service, right-sizing the security, and making sure things move. Five years to date, our army hasn't been rationalized. Five years to date, we don't know what our national security strategy is because we still have economic. Where are we and where were we? And that's why the likes of Mbalo, maybe this is public show, but maybe when he is behind close doors with president, he has a different set of conversation. But to thine own self, be true. Good. And finally, uh, I was going to get both all of you your perspective on the developments outside the game, particularly in Guinea. He mentioned this too. Um, we thought in West Africa that we have given our back military coup d'etat, etc. etc. The government of that came out condemning it, which is of course the normal standard uh, in, in the region and all over. Um, what do you make of uh, Alpha Conde um, on you know, a dramatic uh, exit, or rather on ceremonious exit, 
I mean, George Weah, the president of uh, Liberia, and Buhari, to some extent, um, some months ago, said, this idea of changing the constitution to extend for a third term are the problems that you know really result into this coup d'etat and etc. Uh, in in condemning the coup, what do you think the Gambian government is trying to or message? Well, um, the Gambia government, as a democratic government, yeah. is always opposed to military. Every democratic minded person would not support military government by force. Yeah, yeah. It's not a good way to do it. Absolutely. That's why we condemn it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think not only the Gambian, Gambia government, but all democratic governments. ECOWAS, AU, AU UN. UN, UN yeah. They all, they all that's, join that's, that's standard. All of them. That, that's standard. Yeah. But then, of course. However, yeah. if you look at. Um, Guinea. To look at uh, what happened in Guinea seriously, mm -hmm. I don't want to go too far. No, yeah, of course you cannot. Because now I mean, especially where I'm, I am I'm advising the president. I'm, yes, you are. Person, people like you, you, yeah, you cannot be a liberal. You cannot be a liberal. They can say are free, but then you like can it. say your personal. Exactly. But if I were an independent, somebody sitting there, yeah. I would have talked a lot. Yeah. About the pro, you know, the you know. Yeah. But you are independent, first what, and foremost. What, what, yeah. what happened? What happened in here? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Conde, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. there was a time limit. Yeah. That was put in place. Absolutely. In Guinea Conakry. Yeah. What people expected was to respect. Hence, he agreed on that and the constitution was going. Mm -hmm. Concurrently, he ran into election through the same constitution. Exactly. He should have just accepted that and yeah. go. Yeah. Not to go, go around yeah. and say again, he is going in tampering with the same constitution. That, ha that he has got. Allow him to win yeah. and stay in power for, for, for almost ten to fifty something years. Yeah. That is where the mistake is. Yes, I, yes, remember, yes. I remember. I uh, remember Umar Mbalo, yeah. um, Guinea Bissau Guinea president. Yeah, he said this in one of one of their Equus State State yeah. conference. I I I, I had the, yeah. the bitter argument that they had there. Yeah, he yeah. told them that this and, is an order we have created. Yes, stand up. Yes, he said. Yes, he told them. He told yeah. his fellow elders. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "Why should we do? Why should they do this?" Exactly. It's going to bring problems. Yeah, exactly. He exactly. said, if we are condemning the military overthrowing, but we also elected presidents, presidents. the constitution that we have, yeah. we, 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 we have put in place, mm -hmm. and we agree that uh, th that mandate, yeah. we will go with that. Mm -hmm. Why should we, at the end of, at the vibe of completion, yeah. we go always try to tamper it? Mm -hmm. I, I can remember that statement was very powerful. Yeah. And, and George, George Weah repeated it a few George days. George Weah also repeated the same thing. Even the recent conference. Buhari, Buhari showed a very good example. Uh, at the beginning of his second term, he said, I am not running for another term. This is my last. He said it on the very day he took office for the second office. Mm -hmm. President Makisal is refusing to say whether he is going to live at the end of his term. Uh, 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 I mean... President, but of course, you know, promised to say one term, but he's now looking. No, for. I mean, the, the, no, those are different. But those are, it's a different what, is it? what I'm no, telling you is, it yeah, comes to, no, I am listen. going by the constitution. And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not talking about like somebody made friendly. President Barrow found a constitution in 1997. That's what I've said. But, no, he, but he, he said he's not going to run for a second term. He said that. He is. He is. He is no, okay. didn't he say that? He's not gonna, didn't he accept to step down after first term, whether it's three or five or whatever? He never made, made he said fake. No, the, the agreement says those, so. were just agree, those were just agreements. Ah, those were just agreements. That's not a serious business. Nene, what do you that's think that. what do you think from you or CS point of what happened in Guinea? It's, it's rather President Conde. It's rather unfortunate mm. and it's unfair to the citizenry. For for like, people to change government by force. No, I mean it's 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 not it's not right for yeah. any coup d'etat or whatever. I am against coup d'etat, military coup d'etat yes. of any such. Yeah whatever the reason is. Yeah. But again, I'm conflicted here because at the end of the day, why they did that uh, is because this guy is forcefully imposing himself and changing the constitution. And through that process, we saw what happened. People were killed. Yes. People were injured. The irony, the, irony, the irony is that the special forces who were themselves doing that killing are the people now who have arrested to get over. Like, 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 like people say... Look, you know, look at this studio. This 150 we are Yeah, during... Uh, that is Kama. That must have, uh, in, we in, say in America, in, in Kama, Kama, Kama is a bitch. It comes back to hunt you. Okay, and that's what has happened to them. The same people that have helped him to entrench himself yeah. are the same people who are who had enough and come back to say, you know, where uh, uh, where 
we have enough of you, so you need to go. But at the end of the day, that is only if other countries, sub-regional countries, African countries, it doesn't have to only West Africa, have this uh, uh, um, moral compass, like Nyan will say, to learn from it and understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're dealing with the same thing in the Nyan You say it's different. What's no, the no, it's totally different. No. Hold on, hold on. 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 And so there's no, there's no time it. limit, Mr. President. He's going to put it. He's President going to put Baro has said it. Yeah. He said when he comes to power, yeah. he like, is going to oh, put it. He better calm this one. He no. No. He no. better calm this one. We are not counting this one. Well, yes. Those who yes. make peaceful yes. change yes. impossible will make violent change I I possible. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, the, thing, the reason why I say there is no difference here mm. is at least uh, for, for Mr. Conde, there was a time limit. Mm. And people have seen what he has changed and what he has done and what he was working with. Mm. But our situation in the Gambia is, it's no time limit. And we all know that this current man we have, we call the president in the Gambia, ain't ready to move an inch. Okay? Even if a constitution is obtained, let's say, after 2021 or whatever, yeah. this time he had blatantly fought, put a nail, and the reason why this constitution is not been passed, to say this time is not going to pass. What's the difference? I don't say that it's very well. Okay. Okay. No. That constitution was torn down at the National Assembly. Yeah, that let's, is let's, legally. Let's discuss. Your influence. No, no, let's no. discuss the uh, uh, Guinea. <laughs> All right, very yeah, quickly. Yeah, I, I like Military like coups yeah. should be shunned and not accepted. Not yeah. But equally, those who resist leaving and finding means to stay is as good as a coup d'état. Mm -hmm. And people who make peaceful change impossible calls for violent change to happen. Alpha Conde is a lesson for leaders to learn, including President Barrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I will tell the gentleman why. Mm. You see, there is what you call morality. And morality should supersede legality at all times. Mm. The code of conduct of a human being. The president, whether he wins election, and we happen to have a new constitution he should be morally bound to say that yes the constitution that has just passed allows me two term but it's best governance practice that no leader should stay for two terms right, and i am one. going but that is when you have a moral compass and the gentleman is just telling me that he is not going to count this term. You know what that means? Mm. He is as bad as Alpha Conde because no, he is putting no, Gambia. No, no, no. Allow me. No. No. You just said on record. Mr. Cham. Mr. Cham. He just said on record. No, 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 no. I am not talking about difference. He just said on record that this term will not be counted. Yeah, that has been the argument. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. my issue is he Did cannot he be a reformer. Wait. President Barrow is a reformer. Hello. Because the status quo was jammy and we said everything that was jammy was bad because it was self-perpetuating. And he now wants to come and perpetuate as long milk what no, he can milk no, no, out of the constitution. No, no, no. Meaning, no. this constitution gives him a free right. We set up a new constitution, put a term limit, and he said, I will abide by that one. Morality force. You see, everything it's about a human being revolves around morality. What is the difference? What time? What time first, what, what's the time now? What, what time well, we are, this is the final. I'm getting called. It's what, time we are, not, we are finally right. But this one you have to answer. <laughs> Where is the morality in him to say, yes, it's not illegal now, and I will do it? I mean, I mean, what he's trying to say, well, both of them, of course, okay. they're trying to say the Guinea situation, Barrow and other West African well, leaders should okay. learn from it. Mr. Like, Chan. Uh -huh. But um, the Barrow situation, mm -hmm. the Gambia situation, and Guinea situation is totally different. How? President Alpha Conde has been in power for ages, for, 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 for years. This man is just, eleven years. This ago. man is just elected into just four years. We are in the fifth year. But he's putting a blueprint for a long-term no, strategy. No, 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 no. And you have just acknowledged it. That's not in the yes. Explain. I am yeah. telling. You. Explain. Yeah. President ba President Adam Barrow is someone who we who we respect. What, he believed that he he should do this correction. He's yeah. going to do the correction. Yeah. President Barrow will surprise people like him. Oh, he will yeah. not stay more than until when we uh, when we when we put this con whether we 
amendment mm -hmm. and this old constitution or put a new constitution. Mm -hmm. Whatever constitution put in place, mm -hmm. you will see what President Barrow will tell you. But he has already played. Happen? It's going to happen. It will not happen in 2036. So are you still going to say we are still in line because we don't have a constitution? No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right, let us immediately. The president Arabaro is elected. Yes, I will tell you that this thing constitution will be reviewed. Either a new constitution or this thing will be reviewed. Time limit will be put in place. Yes, because this one has already passed. You see, that's the that's the that's the lack of sincerity in what you guys do. Young, we have we have run out of time. Honor is a good thing to have. Honor, Nyanjai. Thank you very much, Chair. And uh, Freda Gomez, that is Nene, thank you very much from this year. And Sehumbao, thank you very much, presidential advisor and a member of the National People's Party. Thank you very much for coming and you are thank you for following the brunch. We'll be back next week. Perhaps with Mr. Barrow. Or who knows, President Barrow. Uh, <laughs> on the next yes. Until then, goodbye for now. Thank you. Data, now even better. Enjoy 20% extra data on all Gumcell data bundles. Buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes. Buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes. Buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes. Any amount of Gumcell data bundle you buy, you will receive 20% extra data for free. Dial star 302 star. Data amount hash. Or go to your Yai bottom menu and choose your data bundle now. Gumcell data is fast, last long and very reliable. Gamsil Yai Borom. For all your pastry, bakery and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for birthdays, weddings, and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European, and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice Airbay and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. InnovaRex Global Health offers a new peace of mind 
and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.